I've always said if I could be half the man that David Housel is, I would consider myself a success in life. David Housel graduated from Auburn in 1969, and he has been a part of Auburn ever since. It's hard to think about Auburn and not think about David. He embodies everything that the Auburn Creed is about, everything that this university is about. Um, so I, I really can't separate the two in my mind. To me, David Housel is Auburn University. When I was growing up, the only thing I ever really, really wanted to do was come to Auburn, to be a part of Auburn. Uh, the first night I came here, June the 9th, 1965, my mom and daddy let me out at 219 East Thatch. And I saw that old black Ford Fairlane pull over the hill by the Presbyterian Church. And I wasn't scared. I just thought, man, I'm here. I went to my room. I made my bed, put my books up, put my clothes up, all those things. About midnight, I lay down in that bed for my first night in Auburn. And I heard Sanford chimes. And I thought, my life has begun. I'm home. I'm part of Auburn. David uh, has worn many hats since he's been at Auburn. He got there in the 60s as a student. Uh, he was the editor of the school paper. He worked in the ticket office. He's been a friend, colleague, and mentor to so many, so many uh, Auburn men and women over the past 50 years during his, uh, during his time there at Auburn. He is, David is the most well-read person I have ever been around. He, uh, the guy, he just devours books and, and literature and everything else. He, his knowledge is encyclopedic in lots of other ways uh, outside of athletics. But there's something about this university, and David has been able to take that feeling that myself and many of us have, and he can articulate those thoughts. He can basically, he can bring those to life, and he can tell us what we're thinking, and, and after we hear, after we hear what he says, we say, that's, that's how I feel. You just can't believe what a, what a brilliant mind this guy's got because everything he writes is just, it's, it's unbelievable. To me, he's a reader, a writer, a speaker, and a storyteller. And all of those things were important to his uh, job and to his relationship to his co-workers and to the student athlete. I knew I liked him when I came in his office and I saw hanging on the wall pictures of John Wayne, Suge Jordan, and his pastor. And I found out that he liked a lot of the things that I like, Auburn football, golf, beer, and pretty girls. Not only has David given us the words that help describe what it is to be a member of the Auburn family, he has also given that feeling a voice. Coach Malzahn talks about the it factor. Well, David's got the it factor when he gets up to talk. He is, he is one of the finest public speakers I've ever been around. I'd put him in probably the top two or three of all public speakers I've ever David been around. Housel. David is the epitome of the Auburn spirit. And he's made service to Auburn a lifetime event. It's been his career, his passion. Uh, it's what his life is all about. And so I can't think of anybody who's more deserving of the Lifetime Achievement Award than David Housel. A lot of people want to be remembered. I think most people want to be remembered. Some people think you're remembered in bricks and mortar and, and great publications, that kind of thing. But the only thing that lasts, the only thing that ultimately ultimately matters is what you do for other people, in particular young people, especially in a college environment. Young people are what matters, and if you're not doing anything to help young people grow and be better and reach their full potential, you're missing the mark. I have a young friend, we were talking about Auburn the other day, and he said, you know, Auburn brings out the best in human nature. And he's a freshman, and he nailed it. Think what that's gonna mean in years to come. That boy was raised right, 
and he's going to carry it on to the next generation. Auburn brings out the best in human nature. Why don't you ask me about the club David and I started that goes to New York every year. We called ourselves Big Dave and the Broadway Bombers and we've done it, we've done the trip every summer for 25 years. This will be the 25th year coming up in 2015. And one of the things I've learned about David is he, he has a passion for Broadway plays. I mean, David can sing um, anything, any song from Les Mis, Phantom of the Opera. Um, please don't do it right now, David, but we, we know you can do that, and I've heard him do it many times. I didn't know it, David knew it, but if you had seats on the first two rows of five guys named Mo, then at the end of the play, you were pulled up on the stage. So I found myself on a Broadway stage in a conga line with David Housel in New York in 1992. David has played a profound role in shaping so much of the Auburn athletic experience, but there is much more to this man than just athletics. I love football Saturdays. Lord, I love football Saturdays. But the best day of the year is graduation day when you're riding down College Street and you see all those mamas and those daddies and those young people in those black caps and gowns lining up to get their picture made with the big Auburn University marker. Football is important, yeah, it's fun. But graduation day, and to see those parents and their children lined up to get that picture made, you're looking at the next generation. And uh, Auburn's done the best she can do. Now it's time to send them out and let them do the best they can do. That's the best day of the year. I mean, it, it warms my heart just to see that. You just have to smile another generation. <laughs>